We have ignition and we have liftoff. NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft has been sent back its first message. Voyager 2, humanity's distant explorer, has been sailing through space for over 45 years, gathering data from beyond the edge of our solar system. But recently, something went wrong. NASA started receiving strange, garbled messages. And now, they've had to shut down parts of the spacecraft. Here's the unsettling part. Scientists aren't sure what caused the sudden failure, and they may never fully know. So. What exactly happened to Voyager 2, and why is it so mysterious? Let's explore the details. The origins of the terrifying data. The problem was traced to a microchip in the flight data subsystem. This tiny chip, crucial for interpreting and sending back information, had failed. Considering that Voyager 2 has been flying through space for over 45 years, a failure like this wasn't entirely unexpected. The spacecraft has long outlived its original mission, and its technology is outdated by today's standards. But it still raised the question, was this failure simply due to aging equipment, or could there be some unknown force in deep space causing the disruption? It's easy to speculate, but the most likely answer remains the spacecraft's advanced age. NASA acted quickly to manage the problem. The moment the gibberish transmissions were noticed, the team began diagnosing the issue. While they knew they couldn't physically repair the probe, being more than 15 billion miles away from Earth, they explored every option available to them remotely. After thorough analysis, they concluded that the faulty chip was the root cause, and plans were set in motion to bring Voyager 2 back online. NASA's Clever Fix Fixing something as far away as Voyager 2 requires a level of ingenuity that borders on the miraculous. With no possibility of sending astronauts or a repair mission, NASA had to find a way to work with the hardware that was still functioning. NASA engineers managed to bypass the broken part of Voyager 2's chip by rerouting commands to different, still operational parts of the spacecraft's computer. Think of it like shutting down a part of your computer that's malfunctioning and finding an alternative route for the software to run smoothly again. The team remotely transferred the code that used to rely on the broken chip to other working sections, allowing Voyager 2 to resume sending back valuable data. But the process wasn't as simple as flipping a switch. Communication with Voyager 2 takes time 22.5 hours to send a message and another 22.5 hours to receive a response. Every command sent to the spacecraft, every tweak or adjustment had to travel over 15 billion miles and back with nearly a full day's delay before NASA could know if their solution was working. Despite these challenges, NASA's fix proved successful and soon, Voyager 2 was back to sending coherent data, health and engineering data. Voyager 2 is mostly sending back what NASA calls health and engineering data. This kind of data doesn't offer any stunning discoveries about distant galaxies, but it's crucial for understanding how the spacecraft itself is holding up. Essentially, it's like a health check for a 45-year-old spaceship. Voyager 2 is telling NASA where it is in space, how its systems are functioning, and whether it's still pointing in the right direction. It's important to know if its antennas are aimed correctly so it can communicate with Earth, and whether its power levels are stable enough to keep running for a little while longer. If you like this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Despite the earlier issues with the malfunctioning chip, Voyager 2 is still sending information about its condition. NASA is monitoring everything closely. Its orientation, power levels, 
and whether all its systems are running as expected. The spacecraft is designed to shut down non-essential systems as its power runs out, but for now, it's still kicking. It's like a patient who's had a rough surgery, but is now on the mend. And while the data isn't exciting for science yet, it's essential for ensuring that Voyager 2 can keep going. The next big step for NASA is to restore the science data. With the engineering data flowing, they're now working on transferring the software needed to collect scientific measurements to other parts of the spacecraft's computer. The plan is to use functioning chips to bypass the broken ones and get back to gathering the kind of data that has made Voyager 2's mission so valuable. It's a painstaking process, especially with such long communication delays, but the team is hopeful that we'll start receiving science data again soon. Probing the depths of interstellar space, Voyager 2 is on a journey unlike any other. After leaving our solar system in 2018, it's now traveling through interstellar space, the vast emptiness between the stars. No other probe has ever done this before, making Voyager 2's mission truly groundbreaking. Right now, it's more than 15 billion miles from Earth, drifting further and further into the unknown. Its current path takes it beyond the sun's influence, into a region where solar winds no longer dominate and where cosmic rays from distant stars reign supreme. What makes this phase of Voyager 2's journey so fascinating is that it's exploring an area of space we've never studied in detail before. Scientists are eager to learn more about what lies between the stars, how different it is from the space within our solar system, and what forces might be at play out there. Voyager 2 is sending back data that could help us understand the nature of interstellar space and how it interacts with solar winds, magnetic fields, and even the edge of our solar system. The future of Voyager, Voyager 2's power source, is a remarkable piece of technology in itself, but it's not built to last forever. The spacecraft is powered by radioactive decay, specifically the slow decay of plutonium-238. This decay generates heat which is then converted into electricity to keep the instruments and communication systems running. But over time, that power has been steadily dropping, like a battery slowly running out. As the plutonium continues to decay, the energy it produces decreases, limiting how many systems Voyager 2 can keep active. Experts predict that Voyager 2 could finally fall silent as soon as next year. It's been a long and extraordinary journey far outliving its original mission timeline. When that moment comes, when the spacecraft can no longer power its instruments or send data back to Earth, it will be the end of one of humanity's most ambitious and successful space missions. For many, the thought of Voyager 2 falling quiet is deeply emotional. After all, this little spacecraft has been our eyes and ears in the farthest reaches of space for over 45 years. It has survived countless challenges and provided invaluable knowledge about our solar system and beyond. Voyager 2's mission isn't just about science. It's about our desire to explore the unknown. It's a symbol of human curiosity, ingenuity, and determination. And even when its power runs out, the spacecraft will continue to drift through space, carrying a piece of us with it. Voyager's legacy. Long after Voyager 2 stops communicating with Earth, it will still have a mission, a much quieter, but no less profound one. Attached to the spacecraft is the famous Golden Record, a time capsule of sorts, designed to carry a message from humanity to any intelligent life that might one day find it. Voyager 2 will become a silent traveler, drifting endlessly through the cosmos, carrying this disc, which holds the story of life on Earth. The Golden Record contains greetings in 55 different languages. Adonish Lushulmu. A testament to the diversity of human culture. It also holds sounds from Earth. Everything from the natural sounds of rain and animals to human music, including classical compositions and folk tunes from various cultures. The disc even includes images showing life on Earth, people, animals, nature, architecture, and much more. It's an incredible representation of who we are as a species, and the hope is that one day, some advanced civilization might stumble upon Voyager 2 
and discover this glimpse of humanity, the idea of an alien civilization finding Voyager 2 in the distant future is both thrilling and mind-boggling. We have no way of knowing if or when it will happen, but the thought that something we created might outlast us and continue to wander through the galaxy is a powerful one. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries like this. See you in the next video.